Okay. So uh, the first thing, I, as I said, I do with every level of the boxes is the counterpunch, counterpunch with the left, because mostly 70% of the boxes throw the left straight, left jab. So you have to defend yourself and give different counter punches. So usually we do this uh, as a, as a warm up. I wear gloves myself to have a realistic situation, but not sparring. This is teaching. If, if we want to have them sparring, so I choose different uh, opponents for them. Some like some type softball boxer, some some orthodox longer, shorter. Because here I can see the, the mistakes and give the correction to the athletes. When I see that, okay, the, the boxer is dropping down his, uh, his left. So I already think what are the next exercises, what I'm going to, going to do. It's pretty useless. This athlete is uh, 40 years old. It's pretty useless to start making him all over to make different, uh, different techniques and correct uh, techniques. So I try to figure out what are the, the movements that he is able to do without being in danger, getting better in balance, defending himself after the punches and not receiving the counter punches. What kind of uh, defenses and what kind of punches we can take. So <clears throat> especially for this athlete, I want him to take off the, the right hand of his opponent because, as you see, his left hand is low. His right hand is okay here, but his le left hand is low, especially after the left hook or left jab, he drops his left hand. So I ask him to do the, the left hook to defend himself at the same time. and to raise the left shoulder higher so that the right could slip over, over the left shoulder. Also, the chin has to be put in there in touch with the, with the shoulder, not to get hit, but just show. Yeah, so what can we do? Roll, roll off. The head movement so the boxer doesn't stay there so this is like not only correcting the technical mistakes but using what is the aim of using different punches and tactical reason to take off the punch of the opponent or to cover his weaknesses okay this was covering the feet uh, the weaknesses Another one. So um, I want the boxer to be more active. Uh, to be active, he has to have an, an, an automatic state. The punches defenses, the combinations of punches and defenses. So you see a lot of uh, professionals work on the pass. So there is maybe 10 punches in a, in a second with the defenses. Yeah, it's not so easy. It comes with training with somebody for years. So if you've seen uh, Mayweather hit, hitting the target clouds or, or the pads, he has trained his, it a lot. And of course, it's American way of, of teaching, teaching people in boxing. But this is more European style where we teach with a partner. So I concentrate first on the defensive movements to make uh, the boxer not to be in passive defense, not staying only there, but also counter punching. You must remember, a defensive uh, defensive work is uh, most important for the boxer. So here, 
he has to defend himself and roll under roll under the strong punches because uh, chap we can take with our hands but strong punches is if you start defending with your hands and blocks in professionals they go through in in amateurs yeah they don't count maybe but it gives them um, your opponent opportunity to dictate the fight especially if the athlete is not a good kind of puncher bigger difference between amateur boxing in amateur and professional boxing what i what i teach is that we don't uh, punch at the same time so we don't counter punch at the same time but first defense and then counter punch is more effective because we get more power on the punch and there is a risk of head clashes when we go at the same time so in, in amateur boxing you see a lot of lot of cuts because of this kind of action, but it's more effective in amateur boxers to punch in the same time in the defense because you don't have to throw the punch so, so far, so quickly. This is also uh, good for coordination for the athletes. As you see, this athlete has to, has to make his best to understand what kind of defenses in which, what time he has to do. So first we go through, we master the defense. After I see that the defense is okay, we continue with the, with the counter punches. Also here, the same principles of didactic principles from slower movements to faster movements, from easier ones to more complicated, and with a progression. And of course, uh, we do different kind of uh, defenses. Here is only blocking, but could be also block, block, step back, and counter punch. But <clears throat> here is also like I told you yesterday when I I worked with a guy. So we we did with a novice and basic level boxer really uh, easy exercises like only throwing the punches at the same time. So counter punching or defense counter punch. So it's, it's good for them to, to practice those simple punches. But for a specific level athlete or big performance level athlete, it's always better that you give them some uh, tasks for progression. Yeah, also, this boxer has been in, in three or four title fights. There are still, you see, there are still technical mistakes because the mistakes were done during his uh, amateur career. He was not taken care. So that's why we want to uh, cover this part with uh, counter punches, with making uh, physical exercises with a better balance, with a better movement and also combine the workout with the different defenses and combine, uh, combine them with the punches. And continue. So as I, as I told yesterday, we have only attack, counter-attack, but here is progression, is attack, counter-attack, and progression of the counter-attack. And to defend himself against the right counter punch, he has to slip away to the left side. As you see, the, the longer the combinations take, the harder it is to understand. So we, we have to go from easier 
to and add the more hard exercises and make it slower. Is also uh, for for a coordination and for continuous movement, not being under uh, risk of counter punches. And the athlete also has to concentrate what he's doing. So. Sometimes you can give them a little time to, to think of what they are doing. And uh, you as a coach, you can dictate the, the speed of the exercise. If you see the speed is accurate, like now he already masters with the, with the higher speed. And then we start already training and automatization. After we see that there are not, so mis uh, not, not the mistakes, and the movements are, are okay. Okay. After we master these combinations in real situation, when we might want to make faster, even faster workout, yes, we can do already individual work. After we master with the partner, we go to individual workout. So in the same order, like you have to do also your examination practical part. Like you explain, you demonstrate to your athlete, then you work with your athlete or let the athletes to work together and give them the feedback. To master the technique first. Progression, slowly, from slowly to faster, more quicker, from easy exercises to harder, exercises and after this you can put more speed go to individual workout on the pads so on the pads next one because I have a lot of videos here, I have to find the correct video. Okay, let's see this one. So oh, here is already master the declare of the uh, defenses and, and the punches movement uh, in a boxing ring. Always when we go inside the boxing ring, so the intensity gets higher, also the stress level gets higher. It's inevitable. And athletes don't even understand it when the heart rate is higher when they get inside the ropes because their body recognizes that this is the place where you have high intensity training, when you can get hit and when you have to give all up. The same combinations we worked on. This is already second day, day, and you see this already, the movements are, are more fluent. So also, Try to um, seize all the training with each other. If, if we have a certain progress, it should continue all over the week, all over the month. Not only taking one thing in, in one training, then forgetting about it in the next training. So this is the style we want to get this athlete 
to get rid of his, uh, his passivity, to train and automatize more, uh, more complicated and faster combinations. There are really good, really good videos also in YouTube that you, you can uh, look at with the different, different coaches, but it's not just hitting the bat. There are some certain issues you want the athlete to, to make for. The certain punches that your opponents will hit. The certain combinations attacks that your uh, opponents will do. So that's why you have to work in a different way with the different punches. And always come back for the easy exercise if you, if you see that you are and get to the correct movement. So this is already when I can be pleased with his with his performance. He's uh, uh, he was more tensioned in in the beginning when we started to train. I prepared this athlete for a couple of championship fights. Uh, 10 rounds and, and 12 rounds, all those at uh, the high age, he's still uh, competent to learn. So he learned some combinations, some good combination, landed some good punches, but was unlucky to, to lose the title, title fight for WBA Intercontinental. Okay, so um, this was my presentation. Maybe uh, Gabriele, you can take over as uh, I have to go to yeah, sure. the sparring session, which will be Sorry. also recorded. We don't we don't use the videos because you just show them. So we go straight away with the advanced.